Reason TV presents Citizens Against Government Wastes Porker of the Month. Ohio Representative Marcy Kaptur. In fact, they were trying to comply with the new rules. Say you're a 14-term congresswoman who has just narrowly cleared of ethics violations for delivering earmarks in exchange for campaign contributions. Maybe to clear up your image, you and your colleagues in the House Appropriations Committee ban the process of awarding earmarks to for-profit companies. But those for-profit companies were some of your biggest campaign contributors. Surely there must be a way to funnel more taxpayer money to your friends. So you direct them to create a non-profit shell corporation that not only does the same work, but has the same staff and even the same address as the original company. Now they can receive all the earmark requests you can muster. Maybe $5.2 million to demonstrate the ability to produce small hollow spheres of metal alloys. That takes balls of steel. We notified any company, if you want to apply, you have to come in as a not-for-profit. And according to the New York Times, Captor is just one of many in the House already circumventing their new earmark accountability rules. For more information on Porker of the Month and other government waste issues, visit CAGW.org.